Hello and welcome to another episode here on Torque Drift on my Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus. So we're here today to do a full build breakdown of my supercharged 370Z that I've been telling you guys about for a while that you guys have seen on the track because I've used it before. So we're going to go take a look at it. It has had a bit of a color change recently. Uh, we got rid of the red and we are now rocking blue with uh, some sky blue underbodies. So we do have a part that I believe we're going to fast buy real quick. 57 and we can't fast buy it yet so we are going to be running the arc performance uh grip collection exhaust but we do not have that right now so for basics of this car you can see we're rocking all pro power additives and then for suspension we are rocking pro with some uh custom mst wheels and nexon front tires but we are rocking the non-custom Nexon tires in the rear just for grip purposes and because it's, you know, riding in front or riding in the back, kind of just a personal thing. I see on a lot of FD cars and I like it, but I did it for grip aspects of it. And for the rear, we're rocking all pro with the custom MST wheel and we're rocking an aftermarket um, body kit. So is it an aftermarket body kit? I think it is. Yeah. Nope. Yes, aftermarket body kit, not the import body kit. So I totally forgot which body kit I was running because I, I did have the other one bought, but I didn't like it even though I can adjust some things so I did get rid of it, but I am going to be getting it back. So for settings on our car for our 370, we are rocking that stroked RB26 DET, but we do not have a turbo on it. We are rocking a supercharger on this 370z i know it's kind of uh, counterintuitive to be running an rb with a supercharger but i wanted to run the supercharger and actually we're making more power with the supercharger than we were a turbo so that's why we're rocking the supercharger and for supercharger boost i believe we have it all the way up i haven't actually looked at the settings on this car for a very long time so we are rocking 12 pounds of boost full maxed out on that supercharger so for everything else tune wise for our clutch our pro clutch we do have 0.3 shift time and a clutch kick of negative 0.2 which clutch kicking obviously i don't use too much with my driving style which a lot of people probably were saying i should and i probably should but for right now we still have it set that way for our ooh, we could sell this and get some money yes we're going to sell that and we are going to sell that as well so for our ECU, our Lynx ECU, we're rocking our torque at 4,300 idle. Everything's pretty much maxed out on our ECU. And that's how I kind of like it and how this car actually handles pretty well. Quite comfortable with how it runs. So that's what we're running for our tuning aspect for our engine. And then we got to get to the nitty gritty of the suspension, which differential we're running 80% diff lock and a final drive of 4.49. It likes to drive in fourth gear. That's kind of, I've been messing with it back and forth, trying to change it up, but it likes fourth gear. It has the power to do mostly every single track I wanted in fourth. Um, I can start the car in fifth and it doesn't get wheel spin downshift into fourth a little bit through, and it doesn't break the tires loose that much. And I can uh, get a good, pretty good launch on the car with how I have that set up. For the rear, that's our sponsor one. For the rear, we are running Two, negative 2.4 camber in the rear and 1 16th toe in for the rear for our angle kit and suspension we are rocking some shock works we are at 0.12 and 10 in the rear i know some people's settings are going to be totally different than mine this is just how i found that it works for me and how i like how it handles so that's just how i've been running it for braking pressure we are running 50% to the front. Now I want to actually change that. I want to put 60% to the front because we were kind of running a 50-50 and left foot braking was kind of weird. So now I'm going to change that to 60 while I'm here. And then for our angle kit in the front, running 65 degrees of camber or <laughs> steering lock camber, running nine and a half negative front camber, negative one to toe in, and we're running six degrees of caster. Um, I could give myself more caster if I wanted to, but I've been quite comfortable at six. So that's where I have it set. 
and then for the front we're running 11 and 11 in the front um, these are just the settings that work good for me um, this is what I found works for tire pressures in the front we're running 16 psi in the front I believe we're running 12 in the rear if my uh, we're running 10 in the rear so that was dropped recently for some of the chase challenges and stuff like that so that's what I'm running on my 370z supercharged 370z with the uh, NRG innovations on the door next and tires and uh, torque drift as well and of course the evil rabbit logo that I've seen a lot more and more on the track so we got some new tracks I believe that we can run on because it was uh, events that were about to end so it looks like we have ocean drive which I need to try and get a 200 meter um, door dive because I want to get the wise fab sponsorship but I haven't been able to get it yet and of course we have Cali Bank so we're gonna go to ocean drive first see if maybe we can unlock the wise fab sponsorship but it's really hard to get that for me for some reason so 971 horsepower we should be close to a thousand once we get that arctic performance exhaust on there and uh i don't know how much higher in power i'm gonna go i'm um, trying to get the level up too so it looks like we got a paint splattered 180 sx so we're just gonna go for it we're gonna start ourselves in second little e-brake to gain control going to fourth quick e-brake tap to keep the carpet spinning Initiate in, getting that good initiation points. Kind of staying on throttle, running it wide. Kind of straightening up a little bit, but did not have the right angle to link that fully. So unfortunately, we we're not able to link the course completely because I was a little, I should have held it out a little bit sooner before I transitioned. I would have been at right up against that wall. 70,000 though, very respectable. 39 for our competitor. Nice initiation now. 7,000 initiation points, I believe. So the straight line initiating does help a lot now, and I'm super excited that they've added that into it because it makes you kind of run the course how you should. We're gonna initiate kind of behind him. We're still within the tandem circle, not as close as I wanna be. There's some door dive points, but unfortunately I did clip him because I was not ready for him to angle out the way he did so on a, that's not a 200 meter door dive and we just lost our bumper into the wall so definitely love how the supercharged 370 works up to pro 3 now in the car so i am trying to get it up to drift king level and stuff like that so that i can get some other parts for it maybe like the custom supercharger stuff to get more power in the car so we're going to try one more here and probably switch it up to cali banks I'm definitely liking the blue color now rather than the red we're going against blink 937 and that E21 full necks and tires, pro level car. Let's see what we can do. Second run out. Initiating in. Just missing that clip. I'm gonna try and hold this out a little bit longer this time. See if we can't actually link it. Transition there. Put it on the e-brake. There we go. That's a little bit better. Throwing it there. That was too much into the wall. Unfortunately, that was too much on the wall, so we were unable to link the track. But we still have the advantage lead going into our chase, but he had a decent lead. So we maybe will be able to get our YSFAB sponsorship, maybe, hopefully. We're about to find out. We're shooting in a little bit later than him. There's some door dive points. And we did keep the drift alive so as long as we keep the drift alive nope that's not what I want to do round and round and round we go after we tail smack that wall well hopefully our lead was good enough to uh, get a good run he kind of straightened up towards the end of that track so not sure what went going on with that it was not enough we dropped ourselves down so I'm gonna try and get a rerun with him hopefully cuz uh if I wouldn't have smacked that wall, I probably would have done better. So now Blake's going to give us a second go. Maybe we can get a better run. And, uh, well, try and get that wise fab before we switch over to Cali Banks. Initiate in. Not as good of initiation as our other ones. Hang it out. Throw it in. Oh, getting too greedy on that wall. Trying to get all those uh, close call points 
and uh, getting a little greedy and it's coming to bite me back here today. So not a good lead, but we're looking for a good chase and it looks like he did the same thing. 28 to 32. Blake, man, hitting the wall just like I did. Probably somewhere, so let's find out where he did it. Unfortunately, that means he probably didn't have a super clean run, which unfortunately is not going to help our door diving situation. Oh, over angle. Massively over angled and just way off course. So that's what Ted, the tail of the tapes for his run. So I think we're going to go to Cali Banks after this. Unless we. We won. Barely won. Is he going to want to go one more? And then, because uh, it's one and one, we're going to go one more time with him. See who can break this one to one tie. We need to get a good run. Good solid run. We got to keep our Pro 3 status. Because uh, I'm on that teeter point right now where it's, if I lose a round, I lose that. Not a perfect initiation, but we did get a lot of points. We're going to hold this out. Put those cones. You break it, stay off the wall. Let's still get the clips. Let's run that out there. Get all the way up against the wall as much as we can. And there's a solid lead. Not the best lead because this car is not geared for that. 67 to 85. We do have a very solid buffer for our lead. So now with a, his lead being that good, maybe we'll be able to get a good chase. We don't screw up. Kind of cut that corner a little bit. Some door dive points. Keep the drift alive. Nope. We did not keep that drift alive there. There's some door dives. Too far away for door dive. There's more. Oh, don't. I don't think that's going to be 200. Kept seeing door dive flick in, but I don't think it's going to be enough to get that wise fab sponsor. It was only 128. It's a good shot, though. And uh, Blake doesn't want any more of it. So we're going to go ahead to Cali Banks in our 370 and uh, see what we can do on the bank. Probably start in fifth gear and then downshift into fourth right before we initiate. Or once we get to 20 or 30 miles an hour, I tend to downshift in it. it tends to work with the car. So I know it's probably a very unorthodox style, but it's been working for me. So I'm not going to uh, change it up. Looks like we got a Supra. Because I know a lot of people are saying you start in lower gears and stuff like that, but I kind of like my unorthodox style. It works for me, so I'm not going to change it. Right there with that good initiation. Oh, on the wall. Too much of a wall drag, but we didn't lose said points. We didn't uh, lose it by hitting it and going red, so we still should be able to get a clean lead total. We're just going to try and get all the clips now. Run it up against the wall. Not my best run ever here on Cali Banks, but still over a 100,000 point run with a little bit of a screw up to his 141. So definitely at a disadvantage going into this chase with that Supra. We're going to use hopefully uh, a good solid chase game to be able to win this, but I don't think it's going to happen because we just went too much in the sauce and decided to uh, lose all those points there. We'll try and cut the angle and try and get more closer to the door. 370 is keeping up though with the Supra, so that's good to know. Little knee break there, a little more, a little left foot braking. Now that the left foot brake works better. A somewhat decent chase. I'm gonna try, definitely want to try and get a go against him again. Yeah, I'm gonna want to go against him again, but he said no. So unfortunately, we'll take that loss. See if we can find somebody else to run. So make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter, all of which are found in the description box below. If you guys see me on the account, there is some other um, people that have used the same uh, name. So look for my cars. You guys know what my cars are um, to know exactly if you're actually playing against me or somebody that is using my name in Torque Trip. So devs, I did ask them to uh, work something out with that and uh, 
They said they're going to work something with me so that you guys will know if you are actually playing against me or somebody who's trying to be me. Nice on the wall. Kind of lost it there, but we're okay. We're still, still banging in those points. Just going to run that wall as far as we can. And I feel like we're going to try and run this outer wall as close as we can and as far as we can until we completely obliterate our back bumper and write the car off. Uh, too close. Way too close. Unfortunately, that was not how I expected that run to go. And uh, we have a big deficit again. Maybe we'll be able to come up from this big deficit. I doubt it, but we're going to see what we can do in the chase. Maybe we will be able to throw it in, try and mimic his line. I always get, I get too greedy and uh, smack the wall, but we're still somewhat... Oh, we smacked the wall too. So maybe we'll get a chance to get a rerun with him. We'll be able to throw down a solid lead because we have not been able to throw down a solid lead yet here at Cali Banks on today's episode. So this car can do it. This car can do 150, 160 thousand point runs or higher. It's very capable of it when I do what I need to do in the in the car for sure. So hopefully we're going to get a chance to try it again. So I don't think we did not win, but I will want another go at you, sir. Please give me another shot. You're not. Usually when people see that I have a good chase, they tend to bounce out and not give me the chance to uh, run them again because if I can chase, it means I can make a solid lead, and I did crash, so. 69 production. We're going against a Mustang. This will probably be the last battle here for today, so let's hope we can get a good solid lead. So if you guys want to keep seeing torture, let me know down in the comment section down below as well. Oh, that's not what I want to do. I didn't want to flick that way because we're going to lose our initiation points. Oh, we still got them. Cheers on that. Just a wall tap. We kept our points. Now we are have the advantage of getting a good solid run. I'm going to throw it into the inner part of the bank. A little wall tap there. Run this wide. I think I'm going to go in and get this clip point. Get the front close calls. Run the, uh, stay off the wall. Whew. We didn't lose it. So once we finally get a decent lead, a little bit of a deficit, not a huge deficit. Maybe one that is doable. So like I said, follow me on all social media, all of which is down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and the build breakdown of the Supertrust 370Z. If you guys have seen it in battles, I know a lot of you guys send me pictures and stuff like that. It's great to see you guys in the battles. It's also great to see the Evil Rabbit logo on cars when I'm playing throughout the day and stuff like that. So it's great to see more and more people uh, following me and recognizing me in the game. So if you guys do get a chance to go against me off stream and stuff like that, if you want to shoot me a message, message me on Instagram, send me some pictures, send me some screenshots. I would appreciate seeing it. So that's going to do it here for today. I don't think we were able to take the win on that one. We did. 166 to 164. We outbested him in the chase. So we were able to take the win to finalize it with our chase. So as always, I thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit, and I will see you guys on the track.